Okay, everybody, Rob here, aka Trev 2323. I'm in my basement. Somebody said it looks like the silence of the land basement. I do not know how to put my tools away. I'm probably going to hire somebody just to put my tools away for me once a week. So it's a big mess in here. Either way, that's the silence of the lamb light. That's my Craftsman 20 volt. I got this light right here, but we're going over to Grow Watt. Okay, powering tomorrow. All right, I don't have any solar panels hooked up. I got all my solar panels, but it's like it's eight inches of snow tomorrow and it's going to be snowing. So I started this as a winter project, but as a backup generator, not as a, a, a powering off grid. I live in Chicago. We pay eight cents per kilowatt hour and there's two people in the house. So realistically, if I shut down my five fish tanks, I'll sh my cut my electricity bill by about twenty five dollars a month. Can you believe that? Either way, this is the grow watt for a backup generator. It can be off of solar power. And another thing why I'm putting this together is because this will fit standing up like this in the back of my Chevy passenger van, my 2014 Chevy passenger van. And this right here can plug into a flat screen TV so I can take this to the marina, have the back of the doors open or the side door open on the van. And we can have a 65 inch screen at the van or if there's any socks home opener, but I don't know if there's gonna be a socks home opener. So what's in here, this is just a cooler. You can see that, right? I put vents on it so the battery can breathe. Let me get out the way, I put vents on it so the battery can breathe. Family dollar cooler. Inside here is the LG Chempex, and here's a daily BMS. This is not hooked up yet. The reason why I rushed to get this done right here is because I didn't have anything to charge this with, and this needs some power in it some some charge to activate so i could get the bluetooth working so when i plugged i tried plugging it in i plugged this in i did all the the this goes to the battery the b minus goes to the battery the p goes to the power okay so you see coming through here right here i got the negative coming out which this is coming from the bms not the battery it's coming from the bms and then i got the hot straight from the top of the hot now these are two to four gauge uh two to four gauge connectors right here uh anderson connectors two to four gauge anderson connectors in there i got a video on soldering these anderson connectors and i'm not gonna plug them together right now for for y'all y'all gonna have to watch the next video i'm just gonna show you my wiring diagram here because i uh, uh i'll let you know why in a bit let me put these these rubber plugs if it's upside down they slide off by themselves on these anderson connectors okay so this is coming out the battery is not hooked up yet okay this is coming out of the anderson connector so this is the negative that's coming out of here and this is coming from the bms the p minus on the bms okay the bms actually shuts down if anything's wrong it got the temperature sensor on there if any, and the bms will not activate if you on this one i got if you do not have the if you do not have the temperature sensor plug in and you have everything else connected it's not going to activate but i'll explain to you why why i don't have it plugged in yet okay so this right here is coming from here this anderson connector plugs into here all right now we go up to here and you see i got a 70 amp fuse it's a 70 amp fuse right there this is actually a marine fuse uh, it says for 48 volts, but can go up to 72 volts. So I do not understand that, but it says for 48 volts can go up to 72 volts. Now this is from the battery right here. The battery goes in right here. You see it's loose because I don't have everything completely hardwired in. I gotta make sure I don't got my bifocals on. I'm gonna make sure before I hardwire them. But this right here is one comes in from the battery to the, uh, uh, what the heck is this? to the uh circuit breaker and then from the circuit breaker it goes out to the hot in the bms let me see if i can get you in there that's why i got this one hooked up and not the bms it goes into the hot in the grow watt that's the hot and it's kind of terrible to try to get that in because you see you got this right here and you got to try to get it on the angle in there okay now this is the negative from the grow watt and this goes just down to the anderson connector right here and to the uh into the battery okay that's just a straight run to this connector if i gotta quick connect them i'm gonna pull these apart right here and it's connect disconnected right here hopefully everything's wired right so i shouldn't have to so that why i went with the 70 amp breaker why i went with the 70 amp breaker is because cross reference cross reference cross reference this is four gauge wire right here i run a four gauge wire 
and four gauge wire this is uh what is that uh aluminum copper clad aluminum this is copper clad aluminum wire going up and going out to the battery it's 48 volt system and what i cross reference and cross reference cross reference is copper clad aluminum is good for 75 amps so i got a 70 amp breaker because copper clad aluminum says it's good for 70 amps okay so this right here is for the photovoltaic right here but i don't have them hooked up and i'm gonna go with 10 weight 10 gauge wire i got an echo worthy six string uh combiner box that's gonna go in here it's not hooked up yet okay now on this side over here i actually wish i would have went with longer but i didn't so this is going to the grid if i need to charge this battery with the grid this one right here is going to the grid and it's in the front right here so how i have it hooked up is ground hot and neutral now this one right here i actually went with a three a three plug right here a three plug this is going out so whatever this battery charge has in it whatever is in this battery whatever charge this battery has in it i can plug it into here and there's a 48 volt inverter in here and it'll change it from 48 volts to 120 volts and then i could plug that in here so when i said about having the tv at the marina this right here i could have the tv in the back of the van wherever we go and i could have the 65 inch screen in here and we can mirror it, mirror it and also i could have a phone charger on here also that's what i'm trying to get at right here okay so this right here i'm trying to get some light up here again the one in back right here is for the output is for this one right here for the output what you're going to plug in the one right here is coming going to the grid now why i'm not this doesn't back feed into the grid it doesn't back feed to send power to the grid what this does is if this battery is not charged and this right here uh is sensing that the battery is not charged there's no sun out it will pull power from the grid to recharge the battery and run whatever appliance you have hooked up or whatever but if you have it plugged into here and then you have it uh, a lot of sun out it'll pull from here first and it'll also charge the battery from here first so that's my wiring on this so far so far okay this right here has four screws uh two on the side two on the side and two on the bottom okay to screw it in you're on top there's two on top and then there's uh you can't see them in black on the bottom this one was a pain in the butt too because there's wires back here that you got to move out the way to screw that one into the bottom okay let me move this all the way further back that's just see what i mean they fall off these anderson connectors they just fall off just sitting around these thingies just fall off okay so the next video i'm going to have is i'm going to actually connect it to the grid now why it's not hardwired in now why it's not hardwired in is because i don't want this negative connected yet and i learned this from will prowse to not connect that negative let me show you why because will prowse showed me that after all this and everything is connected everything is in line everything is your bms is working everything is running fine you do not hook this battery negative yet so i'm actually going to take it off right now so you do need an extension to get in there there's an extension right there so let me get that off right there and let me show you what will prowse showed me all right so this is a resistor 25 watt 30 ohm resistor you know how when you connect the battery and you get that spark up spark well you can mess this up or you can mess the bms up so with a resistor on the negative side with a resistor on the negative side you got to have this on here and the resistor touching the negative right here the resistor touching in there so you could charge up something in there the transformer so you could charge up the transformer with the resistor and then so this right here is gonna charge up the resistor and when you put the negative on you shouldn't get that big spark right there all right so how convenient is this gonna be let me see oh i dropped the block right here okay truthfully this right here should be uh durock this right here durock is fireproof this isn't fireproof right here this is sitting on a garbage pick dolly 
that dolly was actually garbage picked and you see it's only holding to the dolly with uh gorilla tape that's gorilla tape right there holding it to the dolly so then this way if i need to move it i take it wherever i need to move it and then i can put it down wherever i need to put it down but let me tell you this those batteries are about 60 pounds and this girl wide inverter is about 25 pounds so that is not an easy feat that is how it's gonna stand right there it's a uh it's gonna stand just like that right there this right these two there's your anderson connectors and I'm gonna, these two when they get plugged in see like i said these rubber pieces just flop right off but either way this is the anderson connector so this is another quick disconnect this right here is a circuit breaker it's a 70 amp circuit breaker uh the front one is good to the grid to plug it in to power it up if you need power the back one is to your outputs right here that's to your outputs uh it goes the neck the bms the bms is not hooked up yet this is where i got extra uh pieces on connectors because right now the battery is just connected to the hot so here right here but this right here is going to be connected from the battery to the b minus to the bed i mean to the uh grow watt is going to be to the p minus then this gets plugged in hopefully i get enough voltage to get it on because i couldn't get that bms on today all right either way the reason why i'm not doing this right now is because it's really late at night and i don't want to have a headache if anything goes awry all right talk to you later stay tuned for the next video and we're gonna get this powered up and see what it can power talk to you later subscribe like and share well there's two videos one is the daily bms to see if we can get that bluetooth working and two after the daily bms is working we're gonna see what the daily bms is registering on bluetooth and then we're gonna get the grow watt uh working here all right talk to you later subscribe like and share